Welcome to Lesson 39A, Step Functions. We have a good friend, Sean, and he has turned his front yard into a parking lot. He put up this big sign just the other day, and he's making money hand over fist because he lives right beside the local swimming pool, and there's not enough parking on the street. So here's what the sign says. Parking garage in his front yard. First hour is five dollars. Every hour after that, or part of an hour, is three dollars more. In the heat of the summer, people come out, by George, they, they start parking in his front yard at six o'clock in the morning just so they can be in line to get into that pool. So, we want to take a look at what kind of money Sean's going to make. And you know what? We're just going to take a look at the fee scale from 6 o'clock in the morning until noon. The first hour from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. is a flat $5. As long as they have their car out of the queue, boom, by 7 a.m. it's only going to cost them $5. Now, at an instant after 7 a.m., all right, the instant after 7 a.m., the price goes up. Okay? It's going to go up three bucks, even if he's only there for a fraction of a second after 7 a.m. So from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m., any time in between there, he's going to be charged the original five dollars plus three dollars more, which is eight dollars. Alright, now the pattern continues. The instant after eight o'clock, assuming the car has been there since six, the price goes up another three dollars. So from eight to nine, we're looking at eleven dollars. Then the instant after nine o'clock, it goes up another three dollars. Total is fourteen. And the instant after ten, it goes up another three dollars. And the instant after eleven a.m., it goes up another three dollars. So if you leave your car there from six o'clock in the morning until twelve, as long as you're out, by 12, it's going to cost you $20. Now, the graph for this is like nothing we've ever seen before. Because if you'll take a look, like two things are happening here at once. Eight's on this line and eight's on this line. Nine's on this line and nine's on this line. Now, the nine can't be in both spots. You can't be charged $11 and $14 right at nine. So we've got to show you how to do this graph. This is Sean's front yard parking fees. And let's see what we've got here. The time of day, we're going to go and take a look at these fees from 6 to noon, 6 o'clock in the morning to noon. And along this axis, we have the cost to park. Time of day versus cost to park. All right, now, let's say you pull in your vehicle at 6 o'clock, OK? Pulling the, and you're there just even for a second. It's going to cost you five dollars. So we're going to go up here to five dollars, across from five dollars, and up from the six. We will have a solid little dot right there. Now, the whole way to seven, it's going to cost you just the five dollars. You can stay there in his front yard for that entire hour for five bucks. So there's the first step. Now, as we said, at just an instant after seven, however, the price is going to go up to eight dollars. So how do we how do we describe or how do we draw the instant after seven? Well, this is how we do it. We go directly above seven o'clock and we come across from the eight dollars here. And we put an open circle on the 7 here. So you can see here, right at 7, you're being charged the $5 rate. Up here we have an open circle, and we're going to be charged $8 the whole way over to 8 o'clock. So for this little step right in here, from the instant after 7 all the way over to 8, we will be charged $8. All right, now, from the instant after 8, we are going to be charged, uh, let's see, what was it, $11, yeah, $3 more than 8, okay. So we're going to come over here to 11, 
$11, and directly after 8 o'clock, we'll put an open circle there. So it doesn't include the 8, but everything right after, instantly after 8 o'clock, is going to be charged at $11 the whole way until we're at 9 o'clock in the morning. And so there we see the steps beginning to form. All right, so here we see one, you know, you can see all the steps here. Now the question is, is this a function? So we've got to take a look. I mean, the title of the lesson is step function, so you're thinking it's a function, but it's got to pass that vertical line test. Does every single one of these times on the independent axis get paired with one and only one value on the dependent axis? So let's see. Does it pass? Yes. Look, you might think it's going to fail right there, but that's an open circle and this is a closed circle. So by George, by Jingo, look, it does pass a vertical line test the whole way through. This is a function. Now, let's take a look at its domain, okay? Values here that can be plugged in to the time of day, all right? Well, now it turns out that there are 1,440 minutes in a day and uh, we can be there for any of those minutes or any fraction of those minutes so we're looking at uh, a domain here of all real numbers okay uh, less than or equal to 1,440. Now however when we plug in any of those times we're only going to get integers here. In this particular instance, you're not, you know, you're always being charged a certain amount of dollars. And the dollars are going to start at five, and uh, then they're going to go in steps of three. So the range on this thing is going to be actually a set, and it's going to be a set of integers that starts at five and it goes to 8, and it goes to 11, and it goes to 14 in the same manner, dot, 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 until we reach the maximum. The maximum you can be charged in any one day is $74.